And it's time to talk about Newt Gingrich's positive qualities. Uh, we're going to talk about some negative qualities, too. But there are a few things we want to mention. Dorothy Rabinowitz, our Pulitzer Prize winner on the editorial page. Thanks for joining us. Yes, it's been a long, long haul. And I think it was beginning to show on Newt last night. But under attack. You know, the, the thing about these one-to-one -one little assaults is they don't let you play to your best, most expanding, uh, expansive modes. And that's what happened. He tried, but... But his opponent, uh, it, you know, refused to allow him to do this. But Rick Santorum, as you point out, broke through. That was his moment. Well, of I wanted to ask you about this because I, I thought it was a it was a win for Santorum last oh, yeah. night. If, oh yeah. If for anyone. I think it was. But as I was sitting there watching, listening to him get more and more momentum, I kept thinking, as everyone pointed out, he's doing Newt's job. Newt isn't allowed to attack him. But it was a demolition of the First Order, and it had so much momentum. Uh, when, when well, let me be clear, uh, make sure I'm clear on what you're saying. You're saying that, uh, I think the most dramatic part of the night, at least I thought, was when uh, Rick Santorum went after Mitt Romney on Romney Care in Massachusetts, how it was similar to Obamacare. He said, uh, the Obama mandate is your mandate. They're yes, essentially yes, yes. the same. And so it, you're saying that uh, the blows that Romney took could be, uh, could be very destructive and will end up uh, redounding to Newt's benefit because no. he's, he's the main alternative in your view, true. and so he picks up. I think that is true. Uh, but the thought stopped right there. He's doing what Gingrich is, would be doing if he were allowed to progress forward beyond all of this other stuff, the pylon on him, whatever it was, it was very effective. And I thought it was quite a devastating moment when Romney looked up and said, no point getting angry about that. Right. There was that moment. It was really one of those stop the blood flowing moments, let me recover. Yeah. Uh, it, it, was, it was not telling Rick Santorum not to be angry. But you see, Newt Gingrich, despite everything, continues to have a lot of headwind behind him. And he is not going to go away. I think the pattern has already been noticed. And I think you can see it in, in Romney, too. At desperate moments when their fortunes seem to be flailing, they come out and grab the ring back. And that's what happens. So when you look at Romney, and people have talked about how he, he talks too much about how big his ideas are. He, he has this uh, uh, pension for grandiosity, Newt Gingrich. But you, you feel like ultimately, He's the strongest competitor because oh, yes. he's the best uh, rhetorician. He's the best debater, as he said. I think that's true. And I also think that Santorum has, in the end, the promise of a <laughs> promise, the threat of this weakness, which is that out in middle America, his social views are anathema to many, many cultural, many people who are not. Well, not really in the middle of America, more on the coasts of America, no, no, right? No, the coast. The center, the center of the body politic that would be in a general election. And I think that that sense is it. But we live in the present in all of these moments. And if you put aside what may happen in the future, now, he looks very strong. He is, he can think on his feet. He looks good. Uh, if he doesn't take another turn towards one of his preachments about his <laughs> devotion to life and on, everything's an opening for him and everything. Well, some people like that, but some I people take your point. Like, some people have had quite enough of it. And, uh, but Gingrich will come roaring back because I have to say that every time you see another, yesterday was D-Day for the combatants in the Republican establishment to jump on Gingrich. It's another one of those cases of too much, and just as Mrs. Gingrich, the second Mrs. Gingrich, who went on ABC right. to <laughs> demolish her husband's chances, she thought she deserved several dozen white roses every day of the week from Newt Gingrich for having brought him a huge sympathy vote. I think the Republican establishment is working its way to producing this effect. You can't have an army of people taking out their mothballed memories without any specificity of what Newt did, except uh, the, the erratic, uh, the, without people saying, wait a minute. They live in the present. They see this man now fighting this fight, speaking this well and directly. That's what wins. OK, so well, you, uh, you called the Gingrich surge. And it sounds like you think he's going to keep surging uh, through, uh, through the floor. Until he doesn't, here. yes. OK, okay. <laughs> sounds good. Thanks, Dorothy.